Good morning everyone. It's Tuesday morning, 21st of December. And this morning for our Advent reading, we're going to be reading from Matthew chapter 2, verses 7 to 11. Part of the story of the, the wise men coming to see Jesus. So let's hear what it says. Then Herod called for a private meeting with the wise men. And he learned from them the time when the star first appeared. Then he told them, go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. And when you find him, come back and tell me so I can go and worship him too. After this interview, the wise men went their way. And the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house and saw the child with his mother Mary. And they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasure chests and gave him gifts of gold frankincense and myrrh. Amen. I'm sure many of us know the story of the wise men. Um, we quite often talk about the three wise men. We, we don't know how many there were. There were three gifts that they brought and how they followed the star. And whenever they, they saw the palace, they assumed that that's where they would find the baby Jesus. Uh, but then whenever it says the wise, the, uh, the other scholars say, no, it's going to be Bethlehem where the child is born. And Herod sends him on their way. It says, then the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. There's that sense that the wise men, when they reached a certain point, stopped looking at the star and started to follow their own wisdom. And that's really true about all of us, isn't it? When we want to follow God, we follow but at times we think that we know better. At times we, we think that we know God's will or direction for our lives. So we take our eyes off God's and put them onto earthly things like the palace. And then we end up in the wrong place. The wise men end up walking in on Herod, who is furious that there's somebody who's called King of the Jews. So much so that he's going to slaughter all the male babies born from a certain time Um to make sure that he kills this king of the Jews. But when the wise men go back out again and lift their eyes back to the star, then they are guided to where Jesus is. God wants us always to keep His eye, our eyes upon him. God wants us always to follow him, but that's difficult. You know, you think of looking up all the time, you get a sore neck, uh, and, and, you, and you just want a wee break for a wee minute. Sometimes we might feel that following God is hard and it's difficult and we want, might want to, to take a step back from it. But that's the wrong thing to do because God always wants us to follow him because he knows the right path for us to follow. He knows that our path will take us in the wrong direction and we need to keep focused upon him. In the difficulties that we face in life, let's keep our eyes on God. In the challenges that come along, let's keep looking at him, knowing that he will always guide us down the right path. He will always show us the way because he has that plan. He wants us to be part of that plan. Uh, and he just asks us to trust him. So today, let us keep our eyes fixed upon God. Let's pray. Father, thank you that you do have that plan for us. Thank you that we can trust you that you are completely trustworthy, that you are completely honest with us, and that you know what's best. Lord, help us to keep our eyes firmly fixed on you for the way ahead. Lord, especially at the minute, there's so many things going on in the world around us, and there's so many fears as well. And Lord, we are concerned about what is going on for everyone's health. We are concerned about this Omicron variant. We're concerned about what this means for us, and. We feel for our staff and our hospitals and, and, and how they're under so much pressure. Lord, give wisdom to our leaders. Help them to keep their eyes upon you. Help us to fix our eyes upon you. Help us to trust you. Lord, just ask that you would walk with us, that you would undertake for us, that you put your arms around us and keep us safe. Guide us and bless us and direct us, we pray. In Christ's name, amen. Thanks, folks, for uh, watching this morning. Uh, or if you're watching later on the day, again, uh, every blessing. Uh, trust that today is a peaceful and blessed day for you. And do keep your eyes fixed upon God and let him guide you. See you again tomorrow. Take care. God bless.